Welcome to this video where I am just going to be talking about clothes straight and showing you my inspo and everything because we're going into spring and summer so I thought I would just show you what I'm loving and what I'm going to be wearing. At the end of the video I'm also going to show you some of my Depop lights and my Depop saves which you can't see usually. Um, pieces that I've been wanting to buy that I'm just not going to buy so I thought I'll just share them with you guys and you can see if you like them. So let's get into what i'm wearing this spring and summer oh i'm gonna get some water actually okay. okay so the first thing that i'll talk about is god spring summer because that's the thing i'm most excited about i really just feel most comfortable wearing black at the moment like i'll I'll put on a different outfit. I have been experimenting with different colours, but ultimately I just feel really comfortable wearing black at the moment. I don't know why, but I'm really enjoying it. And I just dress for what I feel most comfortable in. Um, so that's what I'm going for at the moment. And it's been fun to try and do spring summer outfits that keep that kind of goth aesthetic. Now, I'm not saying I'm a goth, guys. Like, I don't dress for goth at all, but the like low-key goth vibe i'm very into like black crosses studs just kind of like grungy vibe so i did this look the other day that i really loved that i think sums up how i'm going to be doing it honestly most of my goth looks revolve around this one black cardigan that i have but it's cute because it's legs out, but it's like grey and black, the studs on my bag, that's a Miu Miu bag, I love that one so much. My little knee high boots and the black sunglasses. I just think it's cute, like I love, I love that look and I love wearing it. That's a new Prada skirt that I got recently. I think the trick for doing, um, the trick for like doing goth for spring summer is in the shoes and the accessories that you keep it simple on your body and then accessorise to make it gothic. So the other day I went into Soho and I wanted to wear a goth look. I just wore this black silk slip dress but what made it gothic was this giant chunky necklace that I had on and um, black boots and black sunglasses and I it felt really sexy because I was just wearing a slip and I just felt really cute in it but then what made it gothic really was the accessories and the shoes. So like my staple goth shoes are new rocks. I have two different pairs. Knee high black boots. Um, yeah, those are the main ones really. You can pull like a um, not super goth look into the gothic realm with the shoes. And then the accessories. So I always, I've got, I bought in my jewelry. I've always pretty much got this cross on that's like this most crucifix one, it's so big. Oh, and this one that I'm wearing right now. Like, this wouldn't be a super gothy look, but just adding this, I love it. I actually have a few pieces in my collection that I find are like super easy to style for like a goth vibe, but light of the summer as well. So the first one is my white Lindsay shirt. I'm literally obsessed with it. Everyone who buys it tells me they're obsessed with it. And it's the easiest thing to style because it's a white shirt, but because of the ruching and the structure of it, it's so flattering. So I've been wearing that with a long skirt, I've been wearing that with jeans. It's been quite a good like spring, summer, evening fit for me to just wear the white Lindsay shirt with some big cut jeans and some new rocks and a cross and some glasses. Um, but then I've also been styling it with my L maxi skirt, which is also part of my collection, which is just a long grey skirt. This has been perfect for me with summer. There's a matching top that looks really cute with it um, for like a more put together two piece. But that skirt I've literally been styling with everything and I just went to New York and wore it loads because it's just really easy to style and I'll add some pics of other people styling it as well. But those two are like what I would call goth staples and I love when I put out designs that are just like so me at that moment and for me those two pieces really really are. They're actually both pretty much sold out. There's a few on my website left in the long skirt and we're restocking the white shirt this week. Other things that can make bring an a outfit more gothic is like textures. 
so velvet and things like that but you can do that in a way that's spring or summery so the other day I wore this outfit it was this red velvet floral dress which I actually styled over jeans which I'll get onto in a sec but this dress by itself is like quite gothic with like a cross over the top so I'm really really into that whole vibe oh yeah the other goth thing that I have been loving is a pinstripe suit it can be black, it can be white, it can be navy, it can be red. I have a red three-piece pinstripe suit at home that I love so much. And then I've been selling quite a few on my Depop lately. Of um, I sold this amazing double-breasted pinstripe suit that I'm literally obsessed with. That with heels and a cross is so sexy. That's like one of the best looks that you can pull in my opinion. Like it's just such a such a good one. It's very Janet Jackson, it's very Naughties, but you can still keep that like goth vibe. And the blazer of that suit would actually just look really cute with like a long skirt. Moving on to kind of transitioning that into another vibe, which is good for spring, summer. So I was really into wench core over winter and I, I still very much am, which is like lame is like, kind of like, what's the word? Um, like Victorian era, like ruching on the skirts, like tartan plaid, um, like gingham, like things like that. I think Helena Bonham Carter, she is always what I'm going for, like I'm obsessed with her looks. She looks dishevelled all the time, she looks amazing. But I was trying to think of a way to like bring this more into spring and summer because a lot of those items that I have are quite like heavy or warm and a way to do it I think is this kind of like swampy girl vibe which I'm really enjoying as well so you keep elements of that like um, wench vibe with like asymmetric tiered skirts like ones where the, um, the hem goes like this it's got ruching but then what makes it more swampy is like the colours um, I don't it just cracks me up that it's called swamp girl because that's literally exactly what it is it's almost like the pixie aesthetic but it's like grungier but it's perfect for summer and really cute for festivals so that's a way that i can like keep the wench vibe the helena bonham carter vibe but take it into like lighter materials slightly lighter colors that brings me on to my color palette which is black no i'm joking it's not black it's a lot black but then the other colors that i'm seem to be literally obsessed with at the moment. Moss green, like mossy, velvety, dark, but still slightly light, like not, well, I'm gonna put it on the screen, you guys can see. Lilac, like pale pinky lilac, and aubergine. These are gonna be the colors for me. They all look cute together, they mix and match so nicely. Yesterday I wore a really cute outfit that kind of had all of these colors in it, and it was just so satisfying. I um I just love them together. So that's going to be my colour palette and then black obviously mixed in there. Um, I just think it's a good base. Find colours that work together well and then your whole wardrobe goes together. I'm not saying make your whole wardrobe these colours but you know I'm just saying that. These are the ones that I'm loving at the moment. Okay the other thing that I have been loving obviously is knee length slash crop slash capri so the first thing that i'm loving is men's baggy shorts i have these nike plaid ones that i wore a lot in new york i wore in miami i'm loving them so much easiest thing to start just shove on a grommet belt and a black tank top and some trainers and you're good to go they also are so comfortable they got pockets i love it like i'm one of those people sometimes i love dressing like super girly girl and sometimes i love dressing more like a boy and I love that I can do both and my wardrobe has both and I would really recommend trying both if you haven't already because it's just fun to play around with it in that way so I've been wearing those a lot um, I really want a denim pair I was looking on Route 1 the other day and there's some really nice Carhartt ones and they've got their own label ones as well and then there's this other skate brand called Yard Sale it's called Yard Sale and they have really nice skatewear as well, including some baggy shorts. I just think jorts are great. 
they just look good man and like with a baggy t-shirt but also with like a really like a top like this would look really cute with them just to like make it a bit sexy but sometimes it's nice to literally just not even show off your body at all just wear like a huge t-shirt and huge shorts um trainers that i think go well with these air force high tops i have some denim ones that i really like i wear sketches jammers with them dunks are good like any of the classic trainers really um I think you almost have to, because they're like, I don't know, it's like a thing in your head, I think, of like, they're not super flattering, but if you just like let go of that, you just like don't really care, like how it makes your leg look or whatever. But I think the key is to find shoes that have a bit of a sole, and then they make them more flattering on, on your legs. Then, obviously shorts is one, but then capris are another. I'm working on a couple of different designs at the moment for capris. I've got like literally a sample, 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 but I can't show that. Um, but I've got that coming. I want to do a capri version of my Chloe trousers as well, so just like plain back capris. Um, I've been wearing all sorts of capris, printed, more cropped, less cropped, like all sorts. I've got these zebra print ones I'm really obsessed with. They're very Carmela Soprano or Ad Adriana from The Sopranos, like that sort of vibe, and they've got like, um, embroidered roses on the side. Capris are just super Carrie Bradshaw as well. I just bought some on Depop that are literally the ones that Carrie Bradshaw wore in Sex and the City. Again, it's like a different silhouette to get used to, so you might find that your body looks a bit different in them. But I find anything with a little heel just really lifts and makes you look more, it's a bit more flattering. But I love them, they look so cute with Plain top. Oh, you could just style them so many different ways. I actually have a video on my YouTube of styling Capri, so go and check that out as well if you need some inspo. I just got these Ed Hardy crop leggings, which I'm obsessed with. Like, I don't, I can't really describe really what era I'm in because, like, what is it? But, how cute. I'm obsessed with them and um, in New York I wore these crop leggings that I have and I love them so much and I just wore them with my black cardigan and my new rocks and I really like that fit as well, it's a cute one. So crop leggings 100% as well as um, just crop trousers in general but there's something about leggings, crop leggings that I'm loving and they, I think they look really cute under skirts, like under mini skirts. Definitely one of the more chaotic trends that could come back, but I love them so much. It's something I used to wear as a child, and I'm like, why not bring that one? I just think it's cute, like with a denim skirt. I really, what I really want is some footless tights that are like knee length. Do you remember you used to be able to get footless tights from Claire's Accessories in like all sorts of colours? I've tried to find them and I can't, so I'm wondering whether I have to like cut tights, but I don't really want to do that. But yeah. Footless tights under a denim mini skirt, so cute. Maybe under a dress, but that might be a bit too like 2010 for me. I need to try it. But yeah, so that's things that go down to the knee. Then from the other side of it, I'm liking shoes that come up to the knee. So examples of this would be knee high boots. I've got a few going at the moment that I'm really loving. Um, like le black leather one. I've just got these heaven, these boots from heaven that I'm obsessed with. Um, I've got these ballet shoes from Kiko Kostadinov that have like lace up up to the knee. Just any like anything going on with your calf, I just think I'm just loving at the moment. And then I recently, okay, a bit of a weird one. I just bought knee high Converse. I don't know what they're gonna look like when they arrive, like what they're going to look like on, but I just saw them and I just had this really strong feeling about them. They're like a really nice washed out grey colour and yeah, I'm just excited about them. I think they're going to look cute with skirts, like long flowy skirts, long dresses and I think they'll be good for the whole like goth vibe that I'm going for. Keeping on with shoes, something I'm loving, heeled flip flops, like kitten heel flip flops. So these are my favourite ones at the moment. They are new look and they're like got sequins on them. I took them to Miami and I literally didn't take them off. I wouldn't say they're the most comfortable, but I just don't care because they just look so cute with everything. 
Um, and I've actually struggled to find many more pairs, but I'm always on the hunt because I just love them so much. They elevate any out there. These ones literally look good with everything I put them on with, to the point where I'd like try and put on with other shoes and I'd be like, this just isn't my, because they're not my heel flip flops. I just think they're so cute. You used to be able to get back in the day, like I think if Panama or one of those brands did um, like healed, literal flip flops that are healed. Cause these are like, they're more like kitten heels. But I love the actual flip flops with heels as well. I think they're really cute. I think they're gonna be a real staple for me this summer. Um, they're just very sex in the city very 90s naughties. This is more of a naughties pair but there's definitely more like toned down 90s ones that you could get as well. They are going to be a real big one for me. Okay another like, okay that wasn't really a staple. Now I'm going to do some staples. Something that everyone needs in my opinion. I'm obsessed with cardigans. Like I can't get enough of them. I went out out to like a job and base like the other day wearing a cardigan and I was like I can't tell if I'm just like getting really old or like I don't know what the deal is with this. But I'm just loving them. So I have this plain black one from Bay that I wear all the time, vintage. Um, I got it for my shop, for my Depop, and then just kept it. I like ones that have like ribbing here, so they're like tight on the body. Um, I got a red one in New York that I love. Um, I've got a few on my Depop actually as well, like cute cardigans. I just think they're really, really cute. They're a staple, they look cute just over a white t-shirt or like a black vest. They're easy to style, they're a good warm layer, like if you're at the pub or you're out and about. It's like a jump, it's like wearing a jumper but then you can have it unbuttoned. I think everyone should have a black one at least and then like a fun colour one. Um, I just think it's an essential. Another essential this summer for me is denim jackets, but not baggy ones, small tight ones. I have this DKNY one that I love, but I took two jackets to New York, this denim one and then this other one, this cord one, and I wore the denim one every single day. Denim's actually really warm in a good way as well. And it was just so easy to style. My favourite colour is like an indigo wash one, but I also really like um, the like lighter wash ones. And I have a few on my Depop that have like zips up the front and they're like really snatched, which I love as well. Staying on denim, I love raw edge denim. I've always, always been inspired by this one pair of, I think they're Levi's that Mariah Carey used to have back in the day. And she went through a period of like always wearing these like red carpets interviews. And they're just, they look like Levi's, but um, the top edge is raw. I've been wanting to do this to Levi's for ages, and I might do it to a pair, but I'm, I just don't want to ruin them, but I might, I might do it. Um, but then I got this pair of vintage iceberg jeans that are like, they're not like a tight Levi's fit, they're, they're baggier, which I love as well, but I literally haven't taken them off. They're frayed all along the waistband and the pockets, they just look really distressed. I'm really, really into that. I just think it's a cool look and I haven't seen too much of it either so I think it would be fun to like find your own version of that and like style it in different ways. A print that I'm really loving at the moment is camo and I think it's going to be really cute for summer. I've got these vintage buffalo camo trousers that I've been wearing a lot. I really want some baggy men's cargo shorts in camo and then I have this bikini that I wore in Miami that was camo as well. And I, I remember going through a camo phase at uni and I loved it and I'm back on it now. Like, I love it so much. A good look that is good for transitioning into spring, from spring to summer, because in England, you never really know what the weather's gonna be like. And the other day I like, I actually thought this was quite smart. Basically, I'm talking about wearing dresses and skirts over jeans. The other day I was like, and I don't really know what the weather's gonna be like. So I'm gonna wear a dress with jeans underneath and then if I'm too hot, I'll just whip the jeans off and put them in my bag. Such a shout. I ended up putting the jeans on because it wasn't even that warm in the end. But it's literally a transitional look because you can take half of it off and transition into a cooler outfit, like a colder outfit if you want to. But I've been loving dresses over jeans. The trick is to kind of decide what wash looks good with the colour of the dress or skirt. So a couple of days ago I had this pinky ready velvet um, like milkmaid dress and I paired it with a lighter wash of jeans underneath 
but then if I'm wearing like a black dress I'll go for a slightly more grey wash of jeans so I've got this vintage Betsy Johnson black mesh dress which I paired with these Miss 60 bootcut jeans um, that it just go it just went well together um, it's fun to play around with like sheerness like a sheer dress over jeans um, it's just a really fun look and then same with skirts I've been putting mini skirts over jeans longer skirts over jeans it's just fun to experiment with it and not just jeans actually yesterday i've already added a clip of this but this um ruched carla laid law skirt over some adidas adidas yoga leggings which was really cute as well it's just fun to experiment with that trend and again it just it gives you options like i stayed at my mum's house last night wearing this skirt over it and then i came back home this morning and I just took the skirt off and it was a completely different outfit. So it's just fun to play around. Um, another denim one, that's really good. I'm obsessed with the concept of babysitter, the babysitter vibe. What your babysitter used to wear in the noughties. I had the coolest babysitters, the girls next door was and they literally lived next door to me. They had chunky highlights and piercings and they just wore whatever they wanted and they would always wear like low rise boot cut jeans. So I've got this one pair of 60 jeans that I literally don't take off and to me those are babysitter jeans. So I feel like everyone needs a pair of them. At first I was like, mm, I feel like they're not that flattering on my bum or whatever but it's just a different mindset, you know, you just have to get into it. And I wear them all the time because they're so fun to style. Moving on to accessories. I will be continuing to wear my Mew Mew glasses until the day that I die. I'm obsessed with them. I um, have been wearing them for a while and I've got two main pairs in my rotation that I love, an orange pair and a black pair. They are just display glasses, so they don't have a prescription. And they're just like, I always want to accessorise, right? And they're like just another accessory. In between the two, of which goes to my outfit, it's so funny because there's such a difference, like the black pair really goes with some and the orange pair really goes with other outfits. Some of them really go with certain hairstyles. It's a whole thing, it's just so fun to play around with it. Um, and then I actually went and got my eyes tested um, and I actually do need glasses so now I'm going to get a reading pair as well. But then it's like, I would only use them to read which means I can't wear them out and about so I like don't really know what pair I want to like sacrifice to just reading but I guess that's literally the point of glasses but anyway loving glasses at the moment in terms of sunglasses I'm really into rimless ones I've got a few pairs in my rotation at the moment but I literally don't take off these Chanel ones that I got on Depop that I love so much I took them to Carnival last year I lost them I don't know why I I mean no one nicked them I literally probably dropped them like I got a bit drunk as you should at Carnival and I just lost them and then the next day I just found another pair and bought them again because I love them so much. But like the main brands that used to do them were Chanel, Dior and then like I've got a Mew Mew pair as well but there aren't really that many Mew Mew pairs. So if you're looking definitely look for Chanel and Dior. They are just so cute, so classy. I like just tinted um, rather than full sunglasses. Um, because then you can wear them like in, not indoors but like on the tube like just as you're like going about your day. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about was statement necklaces. Love a statement necklace. I'm going to be carrying through my gothy ones into summer, but I've got this one um, that's like a good summer version of it, which is this one, um, which is just cute. It would actually be really cute with this outfit. Then basically me and my buyer for my Depop, she just slays on the jewellery every time and I got this one that's very cute it's like flowers then I got this one from Grace FF that she makes and I, I think it's called the chandelier necklace and I wear it all the time I just got this um, one that's like a butterfly obviously my cross one that I've shown you guys already and then I've got these two I just think they like really elevate an outfit, it just makes you look really put together and it's my most fun bit once I put an outfit together deciding what glasses and necklace um, I'm going to wear, I don't know if that's, you're going to be able to see that but there's that one and this one like imagine with a black boob tube 
and like black trousers and that. So cute. And then for these are like kind of gothy ones. But then I've also um, just ordered this one from eBay, I think it was. It was like a lily, a glass lily. And it's actually on a chain, which I love as well. Statement necklaces are just a really fun way to elevate your outfit. And um, yeah, they're just cute, man. And you can play around with the colours as well. Um, okay, now I'm going to show you. Obviously, anyone can go on my Depop and see my Depop likes, but I'm going to let you in on my Depop saves as well. These are things that I've been um and ahhing about buying for ages, and I'm just not going to buy them, so I'm going to show you them so that someone else can enjoy them. I love this Ralph Lauren ruffle skirt. To me, this is like the perfect example of like a summer version of Wenchcore. It is so perfect. This is actually really hard for me to go through these because I, it's making me want to buy them, but I'm going to be good. I love this green um, asymmetric strapless jador top. So cute. Um, oh, someone just bought them. I must have shared about this. Um, these diesel pumps. I actually just got these Puma pumps. I'm really into like the ugly sporty shoes at the moment. Um, these Miss 60 jeans with flowers on. They're probably a similar fit to the ones that I have that I was talking about earlier. But I just love, actually they definitely are because they look like the same fit. Wait, I don't know if I want to show you guys those. They're so nice. This little Cavalli transparent um, plastic bag is so cute. This orange suede, I think suede? Yeah, jacket. This would be perfect for um, spring, summer. Dior heels are insane as well. I just love that shade of green so much. These boots, which are like perfect spring, summer goth boots. These heels, oh, oh okay. I, I'm only showing you these ones because they're a size five, but they are so cute. They'd be so cute with like, G, like boot cut jeans, capri trousers, a skirt. They're so nice. They're the um, wooden clogs with a flower on them. Do you know what? A lot of people have bought the stuff that I've had my eye on as well. Oh yeah, here's a perfect pair of new rocks. God, they're good, man. I'll go through my lights as well while we're here. I'm obsessed with these shoes. They're not my size, but... Adorable, I love the round toe on those. This zip off bag, I love. Um, this is sold, but I love skirts like this. So cute, like that's the kind of summer version of the Helena Bonham Carter thing that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, just adorable stuff. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I was talking about as well, you can find on my Depop as well. The things that I sell on my Depop are basically the things that I would wear. So if you like my style, then you should go and check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has given you a bit of inspo going into spring and summer. And I'm excited to see if you guys put your own spin on these things as well. Make them your own. I hope you will have lovely rest of your days and thank you for watching.